Curious about the hidden meanings behind common things guys say to you? Want to know what he's really thinking when he says these things? And at what stage of knowing him that you'll probably hear them? I've got all that coming up for you right now. Hey guys, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So today we're going a little behind the scenes of a guy's mind when he's interacting with you at various points of getting to know you. Starting from when you first meet him up until the time he says, I love you. And not to worry, I will be including that phrase in this discussion as well. Now, before I get into this comprehensive list, I just want to point out that guys aren't actively trying to deceive you when they say these things to you. It can be a combination of them just wanting to be polite with you, them covering up for the fact that they may be confused or thrown off by something that you said to them, or them genuinely expressing themselves to you. This list is going to cover the full spectrum. So if you're curious about the things he may have said to you on a first date or the last time you hung out with him, I'm going to clear up his thought process in as much detail as possible where applicable. Finally, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want weekly insights into dating men and being in relationships with them, please click the subscribe button below and please turn on all notifications so you never miss one of my videos. So here are 29 phrases in rapid fire succession of things guys say versus what they really mean. You know, uh, I think we should hang out sometime. I actually think you're really attractive and now I'm gonna watch your reaction to closely gauge whether or not you have a boyfriend. Plus, it's a lot less committal than asking you on a date just in case you reject me. Look at you. You could get any guy. Why go out with me? Okay, hopefully you didn't catch it, but I'd really like my ego stroke right now, so if you could just play along, I'd really appreciate it. My job? My job's pretty complex, so... Honestly, my job isn't that fantastic and it probably doesn't pay nearly as much as your job, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna change the subject on you right now. Hopefully I can be smooth about it. I'm also a little annoyed that you're pinging me about my socioeconomic status right now, but I'll get over it. Oh, how do you and Ted know each other? Have you guys, you know, cause I'm really looking at Ted's reaction right now to see if you guys have had sex with each other. Okay, I'll hit you up. You'll probably never hear from me again, but you never know. I like you. I actually do. I really like you, in fact. But don't go thinking I've fallen for you or anything like that yet. I'm just saying you're pretty, you're cool, and I'm taking one step closer to you, and that's it. My exes, uh, I don't need all the drama in my life. I actually love drama and I kind of crave it. So hopefully you've got a little crazy in you, even just a little bit. By the way, a little tip for future reference, okay? Anytime a person uses the word drama, they are drama, okay? <laughs> what can I say? I can't help myself. Wow, you sound really passionate about fill in the blank. Are we seriously still talking about this right now? Look, I don't want to hurt you but I probably already have or I'm just about to, so hopefully this softens the blow for you. Is there an exit somewhere around here? <laughs> I'm not ready for a relationship. No, I'm really not ready for a relationship, either because I just got hurt and I'm trying to be on the level with you, or because I'm just trying to be polite because I don't want a relationship with you. I need space. There's this other girl, and I think she's into me. She's really hot, and I kind of want to go see if I can have sex with her right now, but I don't want to feel guilty about it. So maybe give me a couple weeks, do my thing, and then I'll come back. I think you're great. Look, I'm trying to end this, and I'm trying not to come off mean-spirited right now, but I couldn't really come up with anything specific that I really liked about you. So you're great. That... That came out wrong. That came out exactly how I wanted it to. But now you got really upset and I'm just, I'm just trying to backpedal a little bit here. But I meant what I said. It's not you, okay? It, it's me. <laughs> it's definitely not me. But this way I have plausible deniability in my favor and I don't have to directly address the things I don't like about you. I feel like you're, you're someone that I can talk to. So 
I'm gonna let my guard down a little bit right now because I think you're worthy of it. So please, 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 just, just be gentle with my vulnerability right now. That's interesting. Okay, what are we even talking about right now, seriously? This is either so over my head right now, or I'm really hoping that you're gonna change the subject soon before I have to. Whatever you want. Please, just choose something right now. Anything, I, I don't care. Just stop bothering me about it. I'm fine. I am not fine right now, but I can't really identify what's bothering me. But if you ask me again how I'm doing, we're probably gonna get into this whole big thing and I'm probably gonna come off really testy. That's cool. I actually didn't hear what you just said, so I'm gonna play it off like I did. Or I'm completely indifferent on the subject you just brought up. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. So I didn't think you were gonna go there, but we probably should talk about this right now. But I feel ill-equipped to have this conversation because it might make me look bad. So I'm gonna bow out. You're crazy. I am so into you right now. You're like one of the funniest people I've ever met. Can you actually repeat what you just said the same way that you did it before? Because it was hilarious. I don't care. I literally don't care. You, you always do this. You always call me out on my own crap when I deserve it. And you've gotten so good at it, and now I have to shuffle around, and now I'm forced to kind of try to shuffle the blame on you. But I know that's not working, so I give up. Just kidding. I'm not kidding. You know what? It, it's my fault. I don't think it's my fault, necessarily, but I'm going to take the blame because I don't want this to blow up any further. I, I'm not angry. I'm just annoyed as hell, and the fact that you're asking me if I'm angry is really making me scream inside. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Are you sure you want me to leave right now and not beg me to stay? Because I don't have to go if you don't want me to go. We can still have sex if I stay. Please fight for me to stay. I love you. I really do. And it was kind of hard for me to work myself up and tell you this and be vulnerable. Unless my actions don't match my words and I'm just trying to be manipulative because I just want to have sex with you. But I'm pretty sure you recognize the difference. When it comes to what guys say, what makes his words mean anything are his actions to back it up. Same goes for a woman's words. If someone tells us they love us, but they're not affectionate with us, or they don't call or text us in a week, does them saying I love you to you mean anything? anything at all to you at that point. Probably not so much. Now obviously we were having a little fun today and I was taking some of those meanings of guys' words to the extreme. The point is to try and cross-reference his actions against his words wherever you can. So you can determine where he truly stands with you on a variety of issues. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a like below. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon.